Hello everyone and welcome to another of my Let's Platinum series trophy guides videos. Uh, I'm going to continue on with the I really like a book trophy guide. In this video I'm going to cover for Nilo Angelo or aka Virgil if you don't know. Spoiler alert I guess. Okay so in mission number four after we finish beating the shadow enemy which is the video the, the previous video that I did by the way. So, the first paragraph for Nilo Angelo is that you encounter the enemy the first time. So this is going to be the first battle encounter with Nilo Angelo in, on the, in the end of mission 4. Still a very cool boss battle if you ask me. Alright, so, again, paragraph number 1 is encounter the enemy. Now for paragraph number 2, is witnessing doing the dark meteor attack. It's kind of the same attack animation pattern that Dante does with his inferno meteor attack. You're gonna see it right now. Yeah, that's paragraph number two. Paragraph number three is uh, witnessing his uh, short combo attack and you can sometimes get a stun if you um, yeah, just like that. If you sometimes attack with the same pattern of his sword, sometimes it gets stunned, you can reel in some damage. Paragraph number four, it's when he teleports from place to place. Now, in this first battle, it's fixed that he does it twice, but sometimes he does it when he gets away from you from time to time. That's more usually that he does in his battles throughout. Sometimes you have to be careful. I really dig the stun animation. Alright, for the second battle, it's a tighter area, but it's kind of easier because you have the Ifrit Gauntlet, which does much more damage, damage, and I really like that you can jump and do the air glide attack when he does his Dark Meteor attack. I always do that to get in some damage from far away. Kind of cheesing him a little bit, so... As far as paragraph goes, there isn't much difference or any addition from the first battle. It's just that, just like I, I wanted to show you how easy that you can cheese him with the Ifrit Gauntlet. And at this point, I didn't buy the, the Kick 13 combo or else he would have made things much easier. So yeah, most of the other paragraphs that Neil Angelo has is on his third and final boss battle. Not too bad if you know how to use the Ifrit against him, so it's not a big issue. Alright, so on the first, the third and final battle, uh, paragraph number five, which is witnessing, I think, doing his uh, stinger attack. He has like a very long, elated stinger attack. Usually, you'll notice that he's gonna rise his sword up his head to prepare the la the launch of the stinger attack. I think that's gonna be paragraph number five. Yeah, now, like I said, Kick 13 combo really does in some damage against him. As well as the Inferno... The Inferno uh, attack does good damage against him. Yeah, here's the Stinger that I mentioned. Alright, so paragraph number 6. Paragraph number 6 is when he does his Icicle... Uh, icicle Charge attacks when they... Then when they home in on you in different styles.
You're gonna see it in a moment right now. Usually when he goes at the top center of the screen near the window is when he usually does this type of attack. There are two paragraphs in this occasion and in which uh, the other one I got it on my hard difficulty. You will see it in a moment. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so this is paragraph number six. He has like four patterns for this attack, as you can see. Which is, uh, which is all about dodging this attack. Okay, so that's paragraph number six. Now paragraph number eight is, is when you finish him. It's a, it's a story related um, entry. So I missed one, which is paragraph number seven, which I'm gonna show you right now. Uh, when I played it on hard mode. It's when he surrounds himself covering the icicle blades to defend himself. That's kind of a missable uh, entry for me. I think you have to let him... It's just you have to let him wait and hope that he does it. Again, this is paragraph number six, the regular one. But now, he's gonna do paragraph number seven, shortly after this one. The one that he covers them in circles. There it is. And that, my friends, cover, covers all of the entries for Nilo Angelo. Alright, before I end this video, I'm gonna give you all a pro tip that I read that's very helpful for you on fighting Nilo Angelo, especially the first battle on hard and especially on must die mode. What I usually like to do is I like to cheese him with the grenade roll technique. It's, uh, I'm gonna show you in just a moment, is that when he teleports to the second area, just cheese him with the grenade launcher in order to fill up the devil trigger quicker. Very useful on must die mode to cheese him. Just give uh, yourself some space between you and the, um, the dried up fountain. There you go. Works like a charm. Just give in some space between you and the fountain and it should be fine. So, that covers up mostly for Nilo Angelo. Uh, next video I'm gonna cover on Griffin and all of his entries and after that I'm gonna do Nightmare. So look forward to it and I hope all of my videos are helpful. Please uh, support my channel, give a like and subscribe. I'm gonna place my playlist for my Devil May Cry Platinum walkthrough. I hope it really helps. And hopefully it's, it's, it would be enjoyable for you to watch as well. So Thank you for, so much for watching and I'm gonna see you next on my next video. Peace out and have a nice day.